Hi seniors and welcome to the DSPS breakout room. My name is Lawrence Punsalang and I'm the DSPS program assistant at the LMC Brentwood Center. So before we start, just some quick contact information. The easiest way to reach our office is through email and through Google Voice. Our email is dspsoffice at losmedanos.edu and our Google Voice number is 925-318-1673. So let's go ahead and start. So what do we do at the DSPS? We, our office provides academic support services to students with disabilities to allow them to fully participate in and benefit from the courses at the college. In the next couple of slides, I'm gonna talk about what these academic support services are. But I do wanna mention that all of these academic support services are provided by our office, by the DSPS. Now your instructors, not your counselors, but the DSPS office. DSPS serves students with a wide range of disabilities. So what are these disabilities? They could be acquired brain injury, blind low vision, deaf hard of hearing, intellectual disabilities, learning disabilities, mental health, physical disabilities, and even temporary disabilities. Now, how do you apply for LMC DSPS services? So first you have to be enrolled at the college at LMC, and then you have to complete an LMC online application for DSPS. And this is the link to the application. When you click this link, this will take you to your insight portal. You do have to log in with your username and password before you'll get to this application. Once you've completed the LMC DSPS application, the next step for you is to do number two. Email us a copy of your IEP or your 504. If you don't have an IEP or 504, you can email us any documentation that states your disability. It could be your medical records, or a letter from a doctor or a therapist that states your condition or disability. And email that to dspsoffice at losvedanos.edu. So after you've emailed us your documentation, we recommend that you complete the LMC assessment and online orientation. And here are the links to the assessment and the online orientation. The assessment helps our counselors um, determine what classes to put you in, what English and math classes to put you in when you start at LMC. And then that would be the next step after completing the orientation and assessment is to schedule a one hour intake appointment with a DSPS counselor. In this one hour intake, the DSPS counselor will review your documents, your IEP, your 504, or any medical verification you have, and let you know what accommodations you are eligible for. Now, just a reminder, some of your accommodations from your high school IEP or 504 may or may not carry to LMC, to a college setting. So after your council reviews your IEP or your verification, they will preview for accommodations. And then also they may create an ed plan for you. An ed plan is basically a list of classes that you're gonna be taking uh, for the next several semesters until you reach your goal. Now your goal can be to transfer to another school or to get a degree or a certificate. And basically that ed plan guides you on um, the semesters throughout while you are at LMC. Now, how do you make that appointment for an LMC counselor? Again, give us a call at our Google voice number or send us an email. Now let's talk about accommodations. What accommodations do we offer? So 
One is we provide testing services. Now that could be extended time on exams. For example, if the entire class gets one hour to complete an exam and you have extended time, you may get time and a half or double time of whatever the class is getting. You may also qualify for testing with alternate media and assistive technology. So what is alternate media? Alternate media could be something like converting uh, a form of um, a book, for example, like a paper book into audio. So instead of you physically um, having the book and reading the pages of your book, you could be listening to, to your book. Um, for those who are uh, blind, we can convert the textbooks into braille, for example. Um, we also have assistive technology. We have software that can read text that can type for you. Um, so we have like a Dragon software where you could speak to the software and the language that you're speaking would be converted into text. We also have deaf and hard of hearing services such as captioning. Um, we also have class services such as note taking. So if you need somebody to take notes for you in class, we have that service. We also have furnitures. Uh, we can also record the lecture um, depending on uh, your accommodations. We also have instructional services like tutors for English and math, specifically for DSPS students. We also have counseling services as well. So our counselors, our counselors could help you with your academic, um, like your degree, your planning for grad, for transferring. Um, if you need to appeal, for example, let's say you're on probation, our counselor can help you with that. Um, and then we also have priority registration. Priority registration is basically you you will be able to register for classes on the very first day of registration. This is a great accommodations, accommodation because you'll be able to register for the classes that you need in order for you to, you know, to get your degree and to transfer much faster. Um, some classes do fill up real quick. So if you have an accommodation as of, of priority registration, I would suggest that you use that in order to be ahead of the registration. And again, how do you reach our office? Best way is through email and through Google Voice. Again, our email is dspsoffice at losbinaris.edu or call us at our Google Voice at 925-318-1673. Our office hours are Monday to Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And DSPS counseling are available Mondays to Fridays. Um, to make that appointment, just give us a call or send us an email. Again, my name is Lawrence, and I'm the DSPS Program Assistant at the LMC Bramwood Center. And if you need to reach me directly, you can email me at lpunsalang at losvidanos.edu. Thank you, seniors, for attending, and I hope to see you in the fall. Goodbye.